The Talking Mac Podcast is sponsored by Sky Infinity Host at skyinfinityhost.tk, serving thousands of customers for their web hosting and domain name registration needs. skyinfinityhost.tk, a proud sponsor of the Talking Mac Podcast. Coming up on this episode of the Talking Mac Podcast, a lot of people don't like Mac OS X Leopard because of some of this graphical changes. Well, we're going to be telling you how to mod Leopard with some great programs and all of them are free. We're going to be talking about the perfect Mac right here on the Talking Mac Podcast. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Talking Mac Podcast. Glad that you could stop by and listen to us. And I'll see what we're talking about this time. It's episode 22. Yay. We've been doing this for over a couple of months now. It's been great. Uh, episode 22, The Perfect Mac. So that's what we're talking about today. And I'd like to apologize first and foremost for forgetting Apple News for last week. Uh, I got some email saying, well, you forgot a segment because you just played interview, then commercial. I was, like, I was like, darn it, missed Apple News. But it will not be happening again, I promise, because this is this week's Apple News. <laughs> Apple News for this week consists of people are getting their shipments of MacBook Airs in and stores have MacBook Airs already available since last Friday. Now, here's the catch. The stores had them available on Thursday. They took them down and re-put them up at midnight. So you can visit your local Apple store to look at the MacBook Air on displays. And customers, you should be getting them very soon. A lot of people have put their unboxing videos up online and on the internet. This has been Apple News. We'll be right back right after this commercial break right here on the Talking Mac Podcast. Hi, I'm the host of the Talking Mac Podcast. Now, we all want our own piece of the internet. Well, I know I sure do. Now, when setting up the Talking Mac Podcast homepage, I was in search of a web host, and I think I finally found it. Our sponsor, Sky Infinity Hosts. They host their websites on Mac Pros with 2.4 gigahertz quad core processors, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and two 750 gigabytes server grade hard drives. Now, what's not to like about that? Now, that's the machine right there. Starting at $5.69 a month, you get a MySQL database, FTP accounts, 10 email accounts, 4,000 megabytes of space, and all starting for $5.69 a month. Now, here's what a guarantee comes in. 30-day money-back guarantee and 99.9% uptime guarantee. You have nothing to lose. So visit them today, skyinfinityhost.tk. Skyinfinityhost.tk. You know, when we started talking about podcasts on YouTube, everyone was happy. We've had almost over 10,000 listeners, and everyone was happy. But the one thing that was lacking was MP3 downloads of the podcast and subscription services such as iTunes and my Google and my Yahoo, where you can do it all at www.talkingmac.tk. And the best part about it is the extended podcast. It's extended. It sometimes goes on for 30 minutes, so check it out, talkingmac.tk. Hello and welcome back to the Talking Mac Podcast. Alrighty. So I like to say thanks to our sponsor, Sky Infinity Host at skyinfinityhost.tk, one of the only people I would trust for my domain name registration and web hosting needs. They are our sponsor, so if you appreciate this show, please just give their website a visit and and use their services if you if you know if you need web hosting and domain name registration. Skyinfinityhost.tk. Welcome back, and um, a lot of you know that after the commercial breaks, because we got to pay the bills here, after the commercial breaks and intro stuff, on YouTube, it only you only listen to about five minutes or maybe four minutes of worth of talking. But there's a lot more I can do. I can talk a lot. That's where TalkingMac.TK comes in. TalkingMac.TK. 
that's where I, I go on for a long, long time. When YouTube hits, when I say goodbye to you guys on YouTube, it's it for you guys. But we go way farther and dive a lot more into it. Um, so, TalkingMac.tk, and we're also sponsored by the Mac Insider blog, MacInsider.tk. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's talk about modding Leopard. A lot of people don't like Leopard. Um, I'm going to talk about the, the, the applications that are do it on the YouTube part, then tell you a lot of things that I've gone through and some applications you should stay away from because I've tried them and they messed up my system. So I'll tell you about the precautions that you need to take uh, when we're going through the extended version. TalkingMac.tk is the URL for that event. All right, so number, let's talk about the menu bar. There's a couple of applications that I found, and one of them I've used to uh, you, um, uh Take this, make it more opaque, uh, opaque the menu bar, so it sort of looks like it looks like uh, tigers. We love tigers, but I still like leopards. But here, let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm looking at my time. Time is taken away. Opaque menu bar, opaque menu bar. I've used that. Works great. Now all these programs, you will have to restart, and uh, we'll probably get the show notes person. We'll probably put this in the show notes over there, to the side, to the side, and to the. To the side on YouTube, to the bottom on TalkingMac.tk. Next is Menu Bar Tent. Have not used it. Don't know what it's about. Uh, I know what it's about, but I know what it is about. But I don't. I've never used it, so I can say, so I can say this or that. But I have you. Oh, oh, have used Opaque Menu Bar. Next is Leo Opaque. Uh, Leo Opaque. You can ha you can copy and paste the names and stuff in Google. Uh, it'll be in the show notes. Let's talk about the Dock. The Dock. Here's one I've used. Docker. Docker, D O C K E R, Docker. Another one I've used, Doc Changer. No, I haven't used this one, Doc Changer. So we got Docker, Doc Changer. Here's one I've used, Doc Doctor, which comes in widget form and it comes in application form. And here's another one, 2D or 3D. I have used this one just to change my dock in a cinch to 2D or change it back to 3D. Right now, my dock is 2D. And I had it, I did, well, I had it with Docker. And had a crimson red to match the flow background that I had then. I don't have that background anymore. I have a black background that is is beautiful. Whatever I have up here, and it and it uh it, and I just changed it out to 2D because it's more tigerish looking. That's what I'm more used to. And I still like the 3D dock, but just I, I just changed my docks, and that's what's cool about Docker and 2D. Sorry, 2D or 3D dock. You can just change it for whatever mood you're in, whatever background. I change my docks constantly for my background. When I change the background, I change the dock. It's just like when you change your clothes, do you wear the same shirt with the same pants? Okay, you change your socks. You change your, sh you know, you, you change your pants, you change your socks. You change your, you know, your shirt, you change your pants. And that's just just like the correlation between the dock and, 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 and uh, the background image for me. Now, with this black background image, it, it sort of opaques the menu bar for me because if you have like some images uh, that you can put up there, you can see straight through it. It's just some images are more transparent than others with with uh with this here, and some of them are are great. Like this black background I have up here, it's not just totally black. I mean, obviously here, right? So it it just it makes it this grayish color, and I love that color. It really, 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 really does look great. So I love that grayish color to it. So let's go recap over them for the menu bar, opaque menu bar, menu bar tint, Leo opaque, and for the dock, docker, dock changer, dock doctor, and 2D or 3D. Now stay tuned, and you might want to whisk right over there right now. You can download this podcast and download the extended version, talkingmac.tk. Whisk over there right now because we're going to be telling you about the precautions that you need to stay away from, uh, that you need to know about before you, you know, just start modding something that you have no clue what you're doing. So we're going to explain that TalkingMac.tk. You can download the podcast. You subscribe with whatever. You know, we're just making it available and open for you. So we hope you have enjoyed that. Uh, our sponsor for this month is Sky Infinity Host. If you have web hosting and domain name registration needs, go to SkyInfinityHost.tk. SkyInfinityHost.tk. Well, also, if you have questions, email us questions at TalkingMac.tk. Questions at TalkingMac.tk. Remember, your mind is like a parachute. It won't work unless it's open. So think outside the box. Think different. Bye-bye, YouTubers.